Hey there, everybody. It's me again. It's Angela, and I am here today to talk to you about gratitude. So gratitude is really, really, really helpful in life, in grief, in everything. Because gratitude is a frequency of love. And gratitude is like receiving. And it has um, a healing property to it because it helps to raise our frequency. And when we raise our frequencies in our bodies, that's what helps us to heal. And so the more that you can practice gratitude, the better. Now, <laughs> when I was a school principal, one of the things that had come across my desk was some research on gratitude and how important it is. And I had at the time bought my staff these gratitude journals to write in. And I'm going to be perfectly honest. I started out really good. I started out writing in that gratitude journal and I would do it every day. But then at some point I just stopped doing it. You know, it's, it's hard to keep the discipline, right? You know, sometimes you just think, ah, do I really need to do it? You know, <laughs> anyhow, when Blaine was diagnosed, um, I felt so much emotion. Um, and really during that time when he was sick, I was grieving then too. I didn't know it. But I was grieving the, the time when we didn't have to worry about him having cancer. I was grieving the man I married. I mean, he was sick. He was really sick. Chemo was not good. Like it was, <laughs> well, it can be really hard on a body. And they had given him some really strong chemo. And he got really, really sick. And so when you're watching your loved one go through that, and there's all of these changes, because it really does uproot your whole life, then, yeah, of course, you're grieving, because things have changed. I, I think about, you know, women who or or daughters or, you know, sons, anyone who has a loved one who is sick or has dementia, you know, it's, it's not easy. Um, in fact, it's, it's really difficult. And so gratitude was something that I reached out for. And I'll tell you the reason why I did it was because I had purchased a book. And along with this book, uh, I believe it was by Christiane Ma. It was called When the Cancer Quit. And um, I really couldn't read the book too much because it was, it was about her husband who had pancreatic cancer and he was healed. Um, and she, she talks about the journey um, through that. It's just a remarkable story. But what I was getting at is that she had this gratitude journal that went along with her book. And so, you know, when I was trying to read the book, it was just, eh, I was too close to home. So I just kind of set the book aside and I grabbed that gratitude journal and I started to write in it every night. Um, and when I started doing it, I, 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 I don't know, there was something that felt good about it. Um, and so every night I would write down three things that I was grateful for, um, something that I did for to for someone like kindness, some mode of kindness that I had done during the day, um, my most favorite moments of the day. And then I think towards the end of the week, there was like a recap. What was your favorite part of the week? You know, what are you most grateful for about your week? And it was a really well set out journal. And so every night, I wrote in that journal and um, I did that all the way through. 
um, probably from the about May. I think I started in May and I wrote in that journal every night until October. And I continued to write. Even the day he died, I wrote three things that I was grateful for. Can you imagine? But, you know, there's always something. Like even the day he died, I was just so grateful for, you know, the wonderful children that we had and how beautiful they were through that experience and how much love there was. And, you know, there were so many things to still be grateful for, even though it was a horrible experience. And so gratitude is something that can take us to another place place. It brings us into the present moment and it helps us get a perspective on where we are. There's a lot of things that we can't control, but we can be grateful for everything that's around us. And so I felt like that was something I could control was, you know, what I could be grateful for, what I could do to be kind to others. Um, and so I, I know that that was a huge part of how I got through what I got through. And so I wanted to talk to you about that today because gratitude is really, really powerful. Um, and if you don't believe me, look it up. There's all kinds of research on gratitude and how powerful it can be. And um, anyway, that was my message for today. So thank you so much for listening and we'll see you in the next video.